let's go over the stocks that we are watching in for this week and what to expect for this week to keep you guys prepared for the markets this week we got a bunch of great setups that i want to get over so let's get started right away in this video so sundaystocktalk.com for the email newsletter we have a lot going on in terms of the economic calendar so wednesday is a massive massive day and expect a lot of volatility okay a huge move either to the upside or the downside depending upon what happens with uh, farm c so we're taking a look at wednesday we have inflation numbers during pre-market so you might you know either gap up or gap down there's a high likely chance of that and then uh through lunchtime so this is around two o'clock eastern time we have FOMC economic projections FOMC statement fed interest rate decision FOMC press conference all of these are going to affect the market greatly and then on friday we have the fed monetary policy report so if you're holding any option play any weeklies just be careful and always the news is going to be over the technical analysis so even if the chart looks great but the overall market decides to fall because of these catalysts because of these news because of what someone said about the economy you know this is going to be a bigger effect than the chart and the technical analysis so i want to talk about that a lot in this video so again sundaystocktalk.com for the email newsletter so let's talk about SPY. This is the overall market. Okay, what to expect for the overall market. And again, with SPY, we have a very, very simple pattern. We have consolidation phases. Then we have you know a breakdown to the downside or a breakout to the upside. And that is kind of like riding the trend. So right now, we did break out of a consolidation phase okay this was our consolidation phase right here and now we have formed another consolidation phase now the main thing for this week is that since this was our previous level of resistance this was a resistance this has now become the level of support so we need to hold this level which is the 532 dollars uh, level if we do not hold this level, then our next support is to the downside at $524. So if we do start breaking this level of support, be careful, watch out. You know, we might have to play some puts, but we really need to hold this level. Now we are holding this level. Even today, we kind of came back down, but you could see that even here on this time frame, we have this very nice setup of this consolidation. Okay, this consolidation is very very good you know something like this these four candles have been consolidating right here so if tomorrow we do break out that is going to be a very very bullish scenario so we could see that 535 this is kind of our resistance and above here we pretty much have all-time highs and a you know moonshot to the upside so the spot is looking good it's kind of chilling trading sideways which is pretty good the market is trading sideways but overall just watch these levels and on wednesday expect a big move you know a big move like this or something like this expect a massive candle so it's going to be interesting on what happens on wednesday and i'll keep you guys updated on the discord now let's talk about tesla this is the number one play that i'm watching for this week and in fact i entered in some call options today so we're taking a look at tesla i made a whole video on here so watch that because i'm not going to go over the full play on tesla but the simple idea that i wanted to go over is i got into call options today i got two weeks out and i think i got in you know right at the bottom okay we got in right at the bottom right here and so pretty much you know our stop loss is to close below this level of support if we close below but we closed right at the support just like our play on nike okay with nike we bought in right here so hopefully this is going to be the bottom but you know i'm taking a look at just like you know a pop hopefully like a green day hit this resistance because we have been trading sideways for tesla so 
you know, we're talking about $178 conservative price target. Um, I think that was like a 50% on our option gain. So this is our most conservative price target. And then our next price target is 187. So I'm very, very excited. If tomorrow, if we have a red, uh, if we have a green day, I might probably get out. But depends on what happens. I'll keep you guys updated on the Discord. Again, make sure to join the Discord if you have not already live buy and sell alerts on the youtube videos i just go over the play but on the discord i go over the live buy and sell alerts so tesla looks amazing i'm glad i entered in let's see what happens tomorrow because again if tomorrow we have a red day then we're breaking this to the downside and it's not going to look good and that's going to be our stop loss now the next play we have is american airlines which i have already entered in i entered in around last week but american airlines is such a great play many many things to talk about again it's a cheap stock dirt cheap eleven dollars contracts are dirt cheap i made a whole video on american airlines but i just want to do a quick update okay take a look at this consolidation that is happening on the daily time frame i am absolutely loving this because we are respecting and we are holding this level of support <coughs> as long as if excuse me as long as if we hold this level of support we are looking good okay as long as if we hold this level of support we are looking good for american airlines 11 dollar target if we take a look at the bigger picture it looks amazing now this consolidation is looking similar to like our previous consolidation so the chart just looks absolutely amazing for american airlines I got into a three month out, so I got a lot of time, and the theta is so little. So it's just a waiting game. For American Airlines, it's just a waiting game. We're taking a look at the weekly time frame, it just looks amazing. And I got three months out, so like August, like 19th expiration. So I made a whole video on that. Make sure to check that out. Just wanted to do a quick update for you guys. Um, next, we have snow. So snow looks very, very interesting right here. I want to do a potential shares play. So we're taking a look at snow right here. Let's take a look at the big picture. A very, very common theme. Plays like these. We have played many, many plays like these. Um, you know, something like a massive, you know, play on like Roblox. You know, this was a previous play that we had that looks something too like snow um, coin. Okay, remember when we played coin right here? Again, very similar play to snow. Um, let me think of other setups. SoFi. Boom. Same thing. Okay, and I'll, I'll show you guys. If you guys are not seeing the pattern yet, okay, maybe now. Okay, maybe now you guys can see the pattern. The basic pattern is we have peaked around 2021. We fall, and then we have a massive consolidation phase, which is called the accumulation phase. We buy in at the level of support and play the bounce. So, Snow is doing just that. We have many, many plays like this. You have been following me for years, for a couple of months. All of these plays, we have played on the Discord, on YouTube, and all of that. So, Snow looks amazing. Buy low, sell high, basic idea, 126. This is the perfect, perfect level to buy in. Four shares. I want to do a shares play. Um, I want to do a shares play because the risk to reward is amazing. You know, conservative stop loss 20%. And then we're talking about like 44% gains. Uh, you know, 80% potentially. But like 40% is such a conservative target. Um, like if you guys remember with like HUD, you know, I got out, you know, for like, it was like a 20% gain, I believe. It was like a 46% gain. But it's now a 213% gain. Same thing with Coinbase. So this is kind of the perspective that, that we have. 553%. So for Snow, we're talking about shares. Very, very conservative. Like 42% at least. It can go to 200%, 80%. But my potential you know, conservative price target is 46%. So this is what we are taking a look at for snow. Also looks very similar to American Airlines. 
but we can see that this setup is beautiful and it looks amazing on the chart and a buy in here right at the level of support just looks great so next we got amc so amc not not the best setup it's just on my watch list right here because i love this setup probably not gonna play it like snow like i'm already in tesla i'm already in american airlines i want to buy into snow uh probably today after mark because i can still buy shares um but amc i'm probably not gonna play we're taking a look at the chart here we had a massive pop because of the roaring kitty uh tweets now we have this consolidation phase so i just want to do like a quick day trade just play the bounce off the level of support for like a quick 30 percent gain um and we still kind of have that meme stock thing going on. So it's going to be very interesting. Even GameStop is right at the level of support. So I'm just like, you know, the stop loss is going to be so low. Might play this, uh, might not play it, but we'll see. It's definitely on my watch list though. Next we have SoFi. SoFi is setting up. I think I'm going to make a whole separate video on this. But we have a massive falling wedge setup. I want to do a month out calls on SoFi. They're pretty cheap also. But I'm probably going to make a whole separate video on it. Because I'm actually loving this play. Okay, I'm loving this play. So I'm probably going to make a whole separate video on it. But the basic idea is we're breaking the downtrend. And we're getting very, very tight right here on the weekly and the daily time frame. If we take a look at the daily time frame, we also have this nice uh, consolidation pattern going on where we're kind of consolidating right here but the main idea is playing the downtrend breakout and we also have a nice gap right here but overall this looks very good very interesting last we got minor stocks um so mining companies bitcoin mining companies clsk with a descending triangle the support looks very nice a buy off the level of support is going to be a perfect perfect entry for clsk chart looks very very appealing right here especially as bitcoin is kind of in this bull market right now bitcoin is also consolidating so a buy off the support for clsk is going to be amazing next we got riot which has a better setup because it has been forming uh in the bigger time frame so it's sitting right around support now with clsk with riot i am already in shares but i am looking to average down um i'm sitting at like break even but i'm looking to buy in more just very simple setup for shares like very simple um you're just buying in at the level of support the stop loss is going to be very tight but a very you know chill laid back play definitely a shares and equity play hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe with notifications on and if you have not already make sure to join the discord link in the description and see you guys later take care